Hey, how you doing? I just wanted to record an intro to this video. I'm sitting on a load of footage and most of it isn't in this, but I'm going to hopefully get to it soon. We we went to Castle Ring during the day and we also went and did an investigation at Castle Ring at night. So I've got those two. But this video that I've made here was about a trip that we did to Wellington Woods in Herefordshire. We saw a couple of things that were interesting. We There's a very, very long distance shot of Dimmore Manor, which was actually, it was a Templar hospital, Knights Templar, you know, as in Da Vinci Code. So I'll try and make sure you've got some photos up now so you can see Dimmore Manor that isn't from like a million miles away. So I was using the GoPro, Dimmore Manor. Somewhere about halfway through this video, we go past a big black and white house and it is apparently famous as being the place where Owen Glendower died. It's like Owen Glendower was a Welsh leader who instigated a fierce and long running yet ultimately unsuccessful war of independence with the aim of ending English rule in Wales during the late Middle Ages. He was the last native Welshman to hold the title Prince of Wales. With his death, Owain acquired a mythical status as a folk hero awaiting the call to return and liberate his people. Um, he was in Shakespeare too. Nothing certain is known of Owen after 1412. Despite enormous rewards being offered, he was neither captured nor betrayed. He ignored royal pardons as of 2015, his final resting place remains uncertain. I think what happened was the last time I looked into this, the Owen Glendower um, story led towards Kent Church. And I'm pretty sure that there's a connection between Kent Church and the Knights Templar who were at Dimmore Manor. So it was something like that. I'm just going to record another bit here because I just found out a bit more about Kent Church. Kent Church is a small village in Herefordshire. It is located 13 miles southwest of Hereford. Blah, blah, blah. The area was historically Welsh speaking and part of the land known as Archenfield or Arkenfield. According to one version of the legend, Kent Church was the home of the folk figure Jack O'Kent. The fuck? Ooh. Wow. I have never heard of Jack O'Kent before. A Welsh folklore character based in the Welsh marches. He's alternately referred to as a cleric or wizard who regularly beats the devil in bets and games. He is most well known around Herefordshire and Monmouthshire. Holy shit. Right. Then you've got Kent Church Court, um, which was the family, which is the family home of the Scudamore family. Family members included Sir John Scudamore, who acted as constable and steward of a number of royal castles in South Wales at the start of the 15th century. He secretly married Alice, one of the daughters of Owen Glendower in 1410. And it has been suggested that the couple may have harboured Glendower himself at Ken Church after his disappearance around 1412 until his death. And then check this out. The estate contains a large deer park dating from the time when the land was owned by the Knights Templar. I'm, I used the GoPro on a gimbal for this footage and there was quite a lot of background noise again so i've put some music in to try and cover that and i hope you enjoy the video if you do enjoy this video please like subscribe ding the bell comment below and all of those kinds of things Mm. 
So this is Wellington Woods, right? And it's private land, but we're allowed to walk up through here. Yeah. So this is Dinmore Manor. Wow, it's beautiful. I know it's an odd question, but is it level? It is level, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get the shooting seat, seat in as well. Yeah. So it's called a shooting seat, right? Mm -hmm. And it's for shooting deer mm -hmm. because they don't look up. They don't look up, no. Yeah, spectacular cost, isn't it? That's incredible, isn't it? He looks a bit, <laughs> he's a bit unsure. So was the one in the yard the same make as this? Exactly the same. Good, it couldn't be any more identical. identical. Did it actually say clipper on it, or yeah. was that gone? That no, was. No, exactly. That, that looks like that's exactly the same one. And um, what what's it um, what's it for? Um, so what you did is you feed straw into it, and you see that thing round there. That that sort of big thing there had blades on it, and you feed the straw in it from the other end. There's like a sort of a, like a conveyor belt. So you put straw on there and roots. And this thing comes round like that and just chops it up and you land up with a pile of chaff underneath. Isn't it fantastic? So this is supposed to be famous for something. Isn't that a beautiful house? Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? Is that a caterpillar? Amazing. Wow. That's got a lot of potential, hasn't it? Oh, yes. It's a nice bit of lens flare there as well. Lovely. I'm just recording this as a little bit of a random thing. Yesterday on Easter Sunday, we were sat outside in the garden and it was hot. I think it was only 13 degrees, but in the direct sunlight, it was really, really, really nice. And I just noticed on Easter Monday, it's snowing. Excuse the um, washing machine in the background. <laughs> just came downstairs. And uh, it, yeah, it really is snowing now. <laughs> it's not going to stick because it's four degrees out there, but whoa. It's Tuesday. Is it the 6th of April? Yeah, because I think Easter Sunday was the 4th of April. So on Saturday, the 3rd of April, we went for this walk that you've probably seen in this video. 
And on the Sunday, we sat up the top of the garden. Marie's mum and dad came over and we sat in the garden. And uh, actually, I got a bit sunburnt on the top of my head. <laughs> and today, in fact, so that was Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, we've had a little bit of snow. But look at this now. Some pretty big hailstones here. This weather is so strange. <laughs> Listen to that. Now look at this. Sunshine and snow at exactly the same time. What the actual fuck is going on? It's so weird. Yep, yeah, sunshine and snow. I'm not gonna sing. I've got a song in my head, but I'm not gonna sing because that's how I get the dislikes. Please smash the like.